quiet. What was that? Hi, Mom. Welcome back to Matt Ferris Studios. Booty here. So we are uh, starting in on the next part of our adventure. We just did Sebastian's and then we did Lutgok's uh, Cruise to the Mine. So on the agenda we now have Sebastian's near the Overlook Mine and Poppy's the Poached Egg. <laughs> Oh, goody. Oh, goodness. I'm going to turn egg to mama. So let's. Let's actually. Let's go start with hobbies first and then we'll do specials. Where are you at, Miss Puppet? There you are. Which is good because we need to sell some shit. These days that make Emmerich the evil look like Hurek the oddball. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Oh, really? I'm curious. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Yeah. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Woohoo, dragon hunt, let's go. In a good way. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? 
Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Yeah, oh, and one more not thing. to be eaten by a dragon. Hold on. Something's bothering me here. Okay. New spectacles, just I need my Agitate look her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Go get our dragon. Oh, oh, that was horrible. Okay. There Bye. she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, oh good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. That's it. Like that, it's the word. Uh, yeah, we're going to sneak. more of those. Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. Is worth. She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Long girl spray. <laughs> oh, I'm just doing that. Avelia. Poachers were here at one time. Makes sense. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Avelia. Ah, there she is again. She's breathtaking. From a distance. Bridge wasn't spared her wrath either. Good thing it's fixable. Prepare. Fantastic. her eyesight is let's not find out i let's beg just... your pardon i don't imagine the poachers fed her well and from a distance we probably look exactly like sheep to her hebrideans love sheep how lucky for us some sheep with us oh dang it all right
Watch your step. She must have been starved to pick off a grapple. Or just raring for a fight. Somebody was hungry. Quiet, what was that? Hi, Mom. She'd still be able to smell you. Watch out! It's her domain. She'll make sure we know it. It's easy.
of the nest. We're almost there. Why is every bridge repair? Can you imagine one? If we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. We get out of Thank here. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. I wonder how long she lived here, or where she'll go now. Hopefully, someplace far away from humans. Completely missed this. That was cool, though. Wow, a little, uh, little nerve-wracking to be, uh, just, you know, like, that close to a dragon who would consider you a mirror. Snap. They consider you tapas. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome though. Leave. I'm good here. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in. No, I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. See what? Poppy? Uh, 
This can't be good, can it? Oh dear. Unless they went after her grand. I've been so blind. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Oh, for heaven's sake. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Oh, you like that? A fine choice. Thank you for passing through. Oh, <laughs> I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous in the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? <laughs> let's go see. We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. Silent as a grave. Big old mine. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. Sorry about that, knocked my mouse. No one enters this Oh, shit. Kill anyone who tries. What the Rambles fuck are we walking into? Blood. One of the best meals I've ever eaten. Avelia. Oh, shit. Avelia. 
This is going well. We yes. make a good team. So far. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. <clears throat> Perhaps we can find an alternate route up ahead. Sneaking oh. around has its appeal. I would rather. I'm all for a good battle, but I want to do some sneak. Uh, please don't let there be spiders. No spiders. I'm making please. quick progress. For better or for worse, we're in. We must remain unseen. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Whoa. Yeah. I guess we're jumping. <sighs> I thought jumping would work. Maybe not. Oh, duh. I don't Ooh. see any goblins in these webs. Oh, look, excuse me. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey. Oh God, spiders! <laughs> Think there's something here they want. Incendio. That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? Ugh. Leviosa. 
It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Both? Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Indeed. For that, okay. You're a deadly great spider. Revelio. Oh, goody more. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Devil uh, snap, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Walk right into that. Sure, what I did to deserve that. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised?
Rubber up, boy. Coming back this way. This is not what I wanted. Not, not, not. Buddy else? The room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. For a Ravenclaw, you certainly have a lot to learn. Oh, that was fun. Revelia. Now. Ah. <sighs> We can have a look around in peace. Sure, what I did to deserve that. <laughs> Bingo. We should clear out these spider webs. A rune symbol above the cabin door. Rampart's loyalists never knew to look for it. The Guardian Leviosa. Leviosa. Surprised to find a couple more rooms. Let me also. <laughs> Damn, can't get in there. Fine. <laughs> Rebellion. Oh, 
moving on. Revelia. Confringo. Expecting that. There we go. Interesting. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Avelio. Another passageway. We should search the room first. Isadora, what were you up to? Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still... Something about this place feels odd. Triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas. We can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Really? I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that?
Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? I'm sorry? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. Oh, really? Well, and up yours too now, Sebastian. Mm -hmm. I hope Professor Fitzgerald has confirmed what she needed to. I have to complete the next trial as soon as I can. Because you have a distaste for goblins does not mean you need to be an asshole to me. I will zap your ass. Alright. Good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Hauntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals uh -oh. that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. 
In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly Aww. valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin as centaurs. Bid. You're genius. The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Okay, Poppy will let us know as soon as she has a plan. Alright folks, we're calling it on this episode. My kiddos are waking up and getting hungry and want to come out and play, so... Um, thanks for joining me. I really wish I could have had the ability in-game to slap Sebastian. I mean, seriously. I know he is pissed off that a goblin cursed his sister. However, Wadgar is just not any goblin. So Sebastian really deserves to be bitch slap. For acting like an asshole to me. I really I really want to bitch slap his ass. Seriously. Anyway. Um, I will catch you guys on the next episode. Hopefully Poppy will have a plan for us and have some other things set in motion. So with that, bye for now.